5 signs his negativity is slowly destroying you. Sometimes, relationships seem so perfect when you are not part of one. You always see people together, they are supportive and smiling when they need to, but even when they seem perfect, something feels off. Even when they seem like relationship goals, your gut is telling you that there is something wrong there. You can't really put a finger on it but it's definitely there. Sometimes, the hidden problems are the deadly ones. Sometimes, the things we tend to ignore because they don't seem like a big deal are the things that destroy us in the end. And one of those things is toxic negativity. You'd think that a little bit of pessimism never killed anybody but these signs are proof that negativity is way more dangerous than you ever believed it could be. 1. He is a true drama queen. The whole universe is out to get him and even minor setbacks are huge for him. He is constantly complaining how life is unfair and how he is having the hardest time. People are dying, people are losing their homes and their jobs, but his flat tire is the worst thing that could possibly happen to anyone simply because it happened to him. He just enjoys being the center of attention so much, that he has this need to kill everyone's mood with his problems. And let's be real, they're not so big anyway. Broken bones can heal flat tires can be changed, life goes on. But the time you lose with someone who is intoxicating you with their negativity can never be restored. 2. You are no longer excited to share good news with him. When you find a lucky penny or a four-leafed clover, you usually just can't wait to share your news with him. When you get a promotion, when you run into your old friend on the street, they are all little things that make your day and normally you want to share them with your partner. But if everything you tell him is sprinkled with a dose of his negativity, you lose your excitement about sharing good times with him. When you are only sharing the bad stuff and no longer look forward to the good, you are bound to fall into a bottomless pit of despair and pessimism. We all need a little bit of positive thinking to get through the day, as life is hard as it is, so we don't need anyone to make it any harder. 3. He drains your energy. When you are constantly trying to fight windmills, it's natural that you feel tired and drained. And when you are fighting someone's negativity on a daily basis and when you are trying to find the good in the worst, you will slowly start losing your own positivity. And once your energy is gone and you give in to pessimism, is there anything left to look forward to? Is there anything left that's worth fighting for? 4. Nothing is ever good enough for him. Even the most perfect vacation for him is not good enough, he will complain about how much it cost or about the weather. Your dream house will have a bad neighborhood, your promotion at work will make you bound to your work 24-7. No matter how hard you try to find or achieve something, to him it will never be good enough. That's just not how things work in his world. He truly believes that everyone else is luckier than he is, which is why he doesn't even try anymore. He refuses to grow personally, because he doesn't see the point in it. He refuses to believe or wonder, because it's not worth it. It never is. 5. He always plays the victim. And finally, the biggest sign of someone's negativity being toxic is his victim playing. This is especially dangerous because he always feels attacked. When you have an issue and you want to deal with it, he feels like you are only doing that to blame something on him. He seriously believes that he is the victim, thus he refuses to apologize for anything, because how can it be his fault if he's the victim? He dumps all of his problems on you without even checking on you if you are okay and he has this amazing ability to turn even the tiniest incident into a huge fight. The way he does it is that he provokes you to the point where you snap and lose your temper. As that way it's easier for him to play the victim and make you apologize for something he did. Thank <laughs> you.